Hey everybody, Gary with Basecamp Trading. Let's take a look at a setup we had in crude oil. This is the 30 minute chart in crude and you could see that in the overnight crude had been working its way mostly lower. You were in a downtrend with lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. And then coming into the US session, out of the London session, crude was just a little choppy and kind of mixed. The Overall moving averages were all stacked to the downside, but the fast and slow line on momentum were actually crossed to the upside. So you didn't have confluence on this chart and you just kind of chop sideways for a while. And then you put in this reversal doji right here. The next bar triggered that to the downside and as this next bar was triggering it, it was causing the fast and slow line to also cross to the downside. And then crude made a pretty nice move down after that. Now we got a little overvalued, made a pullback, and then made a final push down. Again, you're significantly undervalued at that point. And then we had the EIA report today, which was actually a bullish report in crude, and crude has bounced quite a ways off of that bullish EIA report. Here's what that looks like on the Renko chart. And we had numerous opportunities on this chart throughout the morning. Right in here is where we came into the room. And this is where crude was just kind of chopping sideways. You had this micro trend right here. You broke to the downside off of that. That actually triggered the in underneath 64.10 and made a pretty nice little push down off of that. Ran as low as 63.48. So potential to grab five or six hundred dollars per contract off of that move. We hit significantly undervalued and we kind of consolidated a little more. We broke out, pulled back into the cloud, set up the slow line zero touch. Slow line is the slow line on MQ momentum. And you can see that we pushed down and then we pulled back, got a momentum reset, slow line zero touch, and then crude made another push lower. Then we had a compression break right here to the downside, or support break to the downside, and then another support break to the downside. And then we had a trend reversal breakout right here to the downside in a wick out of the cloud. No real setups, and then this is where we had the EIA report, and crude's been pushing higher off of that ever since. But we had some nice short opportunities on a 30-minute reversal doji that triggered to the downside.